Well, good morning, guys. What's going on? Welcome back to the cabin. Yeah, all that snow we had a week ago, gone. What a difference. It was a cool, frosty morning, though, this morning. It was uh, 26 degrees. That's just below zero in Celsius. <laughs> And uh, today, I'm gonna first thing we're gonna do is we have to get on the ATV and we're gonna take a ride out the road. I want to check the road condition. The road was getting really uh, uh, muddy, and uh, I want to get out of here today because um, I do want to upload this video. I can't do it here. I have to leave. I have to go to town if I want to upload this video. So I want to check the road condition to make sure that it's. Uh, I can drive out of here without uh, without getting stuck. Yeah, so self-isolating is going well. You know, I think as another YouTuber said, uh, it's one thing to be uh, to choose to self-isolate. It's another thing when you're kind of forced to. Uh, but I think we are seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. I don't know how much longer this is going to last, but uh, I think there's some light at the end of the tunnel. I'm really, I'm feeling hopeful. And I want to feel positive that uh, life for everybody can go back to normal, I hope, real soon. Well, actually, the road's uh, drying out. It's, it's dried out quite a bit the last few days. But you can see it's, uh, it's pretty well rutted up in a lot of places, and in some places worse than others. Uh, the, the secret to a gravel road, you got to stay off at this time of year. You have to. Or if you have to use it, tread lightly. The problem is, uh, what we had is um, I had some unwanted traffic, you know, uh, several nights ago. Uh, you know, kids, they're out with their four-wheel drives, and you know what? They're just looking for mud. So uh, instead of staying, you know, over to where it's it's kind of dry, they go for the softest spot, and then they just, of course, you know, they just, they just tear it all up. They're looking for mud. It happens. It happens every year. Uh, not much you can do about it. it I've seen it a lot worse. And uh, not this year, but in years gone by, you know, sometimes you'll hear a knock on my door in the middle of the night and you know, it'll be a, a couple of kids. Can you help us out? We're stuck. And uh, yeah, 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 I'll help you out. All right. Anyways, you get the tractor and you pull them out. And, you know, most of the time, see, they don't understand. It doesn't occur to them that somebody has to pay for this road. Somebody's got to do all the work. You know, I, I try to explain it to them. I think they get it for the most part. You know, once you once you tell them, and then they kind of, oh yeah, didn't didn't know that, didn't didn't under, didn't see that, didn't understand. Yeah, it costs a lot of money and time to keep this road up, but 
anyways, hey, hey, they're kids. What can you do? You know, at least they haven't told me to go myself yet or anything. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, uh, you know, look at the bright side. Um, uh, more seat time in the tractor. And uh, I'll come down and fix up this road. And, hey, that'll make some more videos. We'll do that in a few weeks. So once it's really dried out, probably... If things go well, you know, first, second week of May, maybe a little later. All right, let's go back up to the cabin, sit down on the uh, porch, and uh, I want to give a shout out to a few other channels that I think deserve it. There, we're back. Uh, by the way, um, in case anybody's wondering, uh, I can't gate the road off. I'd like to gate the road off, but I can't because the road is actually a property line and it divides up different properties. I do have my driveway gated off, but the road itself I can't gate. Uh, can't get all the landowners to agree. So it is what it is. And that's the way it goes. What a beautiful morning. Beautiful. And it wouldn't be a beautiful morning without bacon. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm just going to eat fast today because i got a lot to do. So it's uh, bacon in a bag for me. Breakfast bacon jerky. Fully cooked. Applewood smoked. Had a whole bunch of these things. I got these at Marden's a long time ago. I haven't had a chance to try this yet. So let's check it out. Looks like bacon. Mmm. Oh, that's pretty good. I gotta get some more of this. Bacon any time. Awesome. Yeah, so I'm getting the time in. Um, I've actually been working really hard here. And I've... Really hard. I've been working... Harder than a Japanese beaver in a petrified forest. Uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, work down on the back end of the property. Uh, cutting out trails for the ATV and uh, in and around through the woodlot and, you know, places where I'm going to cut out some more, some more firewood. And, uh, yeah, I could have, I could have made a video or two, but, and I thought about it, but the thing is sometimes... I just have to get my work done. And uh, if you're thinking about videos, you're not going to get your work done. Well, you'll get it done, but you're going to get it done slower because you're you're more concerned about the videos. So I just said, forget the videos for now. I want to get my work done because I am in a race against time because uh, this is beautiful weather for working in the woods. And in no time, the black fly will be here. And man, they take all of the fun out of being in the woods. So, um, I did want to make a quick video though, and uh, uh, just uh, tell you guys what I'm up to, and uh, wanted to give a shout out to a few other channels that I think deserve it. Uh, you see, um, and I'm just talking about this genre, we'll call it the off grid, outdoor, cabin, whatever genre. YouTube, it's, it's like a pyramid, right? And there's only so much room up here at the top. And, you know, these are the really, really big channels way up here. And as you get down in the pyramid, there's a lot of channels. And there's so much content. And I think there's a lot of good content um, down here in the pyramid. And uh, I don't know why some, some channels take off and some don't. I don't know. But, uh, you know... Personally, my preference, I enjoy watching these channels down here more than I do at the top. Actually, I don't even watch the really, really 
big channels at all. Um, I prefer these channels because the content is real and the people are real. And I, this is just a personal thing. I just like watching real people doing real things. And, you know, you watching this, you may like to watch something different. I don't know. Everybody has a different taste. But me, I like watching real people do real things. And I know that these people are real. And, uh, well, okay, are you saying that the people at the very top are not real? Yeah, <laughs> well, they are. But anyway, uh, I prefer down here. And the reason, the reason that I um, don't really watch those really big channels is because they're so highly produced. And for me, that takes away from it being real. Um, you know, I know it seems like, you know, it could be this guy or whatever living in this, you know, simple life in a off-grid cabin, but yeah, you know, you really have to stop and think about how much money is coming in. And I'm talking about the really, really big channels. If you knew how much money they were making, it would literally scare you. <laughs> I mean, there's so much money involved. And listen, reality, the reality is they're very entertaining to watch because they're so highly produced or whatever. But that's just, to me, it, it loses that feeling, that raw feeling, that real feeling. Because... You know what? Those guys at the very, very top, their primary focus isn't their life or at the cabin or their work or whatever. It's videos. It's YouTube. It's making money. There's so much money on the line. You know, it's kind of like what I just said. You know, I just spent the last few days, you know, working in the woods. And that's my primary mission. I got to get my work done. And making videos is great. And I love doing it. But it's kind of a secondary thing. Um, but up at the top, it's their prime. It's their only thing because they're making big money. And, uh, you know, I mean, they have equipment. They have cameras worth more than my truck. And <laughs> I'm sure of it. And, uh, you know, they've got, um, I know they, they would have to have assistants and uh, they probably pay editors. You would have to. You wouldn't have the time to do it all by yourself. Some of them run more than one YouTube channel full time. Plus, they run PayPal, Instagram, Patreon, Twitter, Facebook, merchandise, websites. You just can't run all of that stuff and, and do anything else. You are a full-time businessman because this is a full-time business. I'm just saying that's exactly the way it is. I'm not trying to say anything negative about, you know, these channels. I'm just trying to say it is what it is. It's a production and it's a big, there's a lot of money on the line, okay? So when I watch these channels that are further down, I'll call it in the pyramid, I know that it's a real person doing real things. And if I comment and they actually reply, then I know it's them that's actually replying to me. Oh, those big channels, you don't even know if you're lucky enough to get a reply. You don't even know if it's them replying. Maybe it's their assistant. They don't have time to go through thousands of comments and for every video that they produce. I don't believe that for a second. I don't know where you would get the time. Anyway, enough about that. I'm just kind of trying to, you know, I'm not trying to say anything negative about anybody. I'm just trying to explain why I like these channels down here. So without any further ado, let's get to the shout outs to these channels. First of all, I am sporting my M&P hat. That one's for you, Marvin. Now let's get to the channels. Um, first channel I want to give a shout out to probably doesn't uh, need an introduction. Probably most of you guys have already heard of him, man. His channel is, it's taken off like a rocket. It's awesome. The name of that channel is Kyle's cabin. And, uh, you know, look in the description below. Cause all three of these channels, I'll put a, a link in the description below to those channels. But the first one is Kyle's cabin. This is a young pup uh, in Minnesota. I think he's 24 years old. You know, he went out into the woods 
built his own cabin, stays there with his girlfriend and dog, and and uh, he just makes real videos, and I love the content. Um, if you haven't checked him out, do check him out when you're done here. Uh, you know, it's I just love seeing young, you know, these young pups do that. It's, you know, rather than, I don't know, sitting in mommy's basement complaining about the world on Twitter or some other equally useless waste of time. So, so two thumbs up for Kyle's Cabin. Um, the next channel that I'll give a shout out to, uh, he's um, a guy over in Western Maine. Uh, I think he lives around Leeds, Maine. And uh, the name of his channel is The Main Naturalist. Okay, I mean, he's just a guy who just lives there and uh, he lives on a homestead. You know, he has horses and chickens and goats and, you know, uh, he has great game cam footage. Got some nice deer on the game cams. Um, does maple syrup and cuts firewood. Just, you know, it's just a, you know, and, and it's definitely not a big channel. But uh, I would definitely like to send a few people his way. I think uh, he deserves it and I'd like to see if you know, him get a few more subs. So uh, when you're done here, go check out his channel. Uh, and the final channel that I want to give a shout out to is uh, a young lady way up in the Yukon Territory. And uh, the name of her channel is Cabin Dweller. And, uh, you know, she lives in a, in a cabin in the Yukon. And, uh, she records her day-to-day -day stuff and her life that she does. She actually does a very good job of the editing. Uh, I think she has a drone because she always has drone footage and uh, her editing is very well done. Um, she doesn't have a whole lot of subscribers, but uh, I'd like to help change that. I think she does a great job and uh, it's nice to see a lady do this. This is great. I mean, uh, living there in, the, in, the, in her cabin, um, you don't see it very often. Uh, well, the only time you see it is with usually with clickbait. Uh, and uh, so it's great to see her doing it and it's real. So, uh, you know, um, check out the cabin dweller when you're done here. Um, you know, I think she deserves a few more, a few more subs too. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. I am going to give out a bonus shout out. <laughs> and, um, this is a channel that I just discovered. Again, as I said, there's so many channels here that, you know, uh, that I think have good kind of, I'm, I'm discovering new channels every day. There's so many of them. Um, I haven't had fully time to check out all of his videos or see what he's about, but the name of this channel is the Pennyac Wilderness. Now, Pennyac is a place, uh, it's in New Brunswick, Canada. So, uh, you know, again, young pup went out in the woods, you know, building his own cabin by hand. And, you know, boy, I just love seeing that. So, um, I have, like I said, I haven't had fully chance to check out all of his videos, but I'll give him a bonus shout out. Um, hopefully it's going to be good content. Check him out. Let me know what you think in the comments below, not only of his channel, but the other channels that I recommended. And, uh, Anyways, you guys uh, hang in there. I'll end the video here. I got some more work I have to get done, and then I am going to go to town and upload this video. Uh, so you guys take care, and uh, don't forget, if you're new, subscribe. Hit that little bell icon, notify the new videos. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave me those comments below, and we will see you soon back here at the cabin. Mmm, bacon in a bag.